don't do it. If you don't want to do it, I'm going to tell you right now, don't do it. If you want to change your life, if you want to be the best you, if you want to be proud of yourself, then stick around and I'm going to give you my morning routine and hopefully it'll change your life. What's up everybody? Welcome back to my channel. I am very excited for today's video. I love this sweater by the way. It says feeling talented. Sean bought it for me when we went to Puerto Vallarta a couple months ago for our anniversary. And look at the back. Like it's just so cute, you know? I just love it. Look at it. Oh, you guys can read it. I think you probably get it. Can you see it? Yeah. Kind of. Anyways. Loving it. So I'm really excited for today's video. Sean and I actually, we just got back from a little mini vacay, little trip, weekend trip. We try to do those pretty often just because it's just good. It's good for your marriage, it's good for the soul. Just get away, you know, go somewhere new, have a good time. And so my weekend birthday, which my birthday was yesterday, um, and we just had the best time. And so that vlog will be up in just a few days for you. And there's lots of laughter, of course, because whenever my husband and I are together, it's just unpredictable. We just don't know. You just you never know what you're gonna get with the brackets. On. You ready, guys? Go. You didn't even do it. It's still on there. Come on. Don't be afraid. Oh my gosh. Just do it. Just there you go. <laughs> so, anyways, that vlog will be up in a few days. But today, today, we are going to be talking about my morning routine. Yes, my morning routine for you guys. And I am going to be giving you a makeup, uh, my daily makeup routine soon as well. That's gonna be hilarious because I'm definitely not a makeup expert. I just know what to do for my own face, but you guys keep asking for it, so I'm gonna give it, cause you want it. So, a lot of you guys had asked for a morning routine video and you know, I didn't really wanna give you guys regurgitated information cause there's, there's so much information out there. Ultimately, at the end of the day, you gotta find what's gonna work best for you. I told you guys in my five bad habits to break in 2019 video a little bit about my morning routine. I didn't really go in depth, but I told you guys that I had started reading The uh, Miracle Morning by Hal Elrod and how that was totally changing my life. And Sean and I have been practicing what is in that book. And so, again, I recommend going and getting that book. But today, I'm gonna be giving you my morning routine. This is what works for me. A lot of these tips, all of these tips I recommend for you as well. I think they will definitely help your life. I think they will help you start to get on track. Look, I was not a morning person. Let me just preface that. I've never been a morning person. I've never liked mornings. I've always been a night person. That was just, I would use, you know, like nights. And I, look, it's not because I'm now 31, okay? That I'm just like, hey, let's wake up early. I, you know, I felt coming in 2019 like, I really, really, really needed to get on a structured morning routine in order to get done all the things that I wanna get done. I work full time at a church, I am a wife, I am an entrepreneur as well. I also do music, there's a lot. My life is a lot. Uh, I travel, uh, I do outside speaking engagements and singing and you know leading worship at other churches as well. So there's a lot, there's a lot going on in my life. And so in order to really be efficient and effective, I realized, girl, you better wake up, you better set an alarm, get up early, uh, stop making excuses. Talked a little bit about that in my five bad habits video. So I came to the point where I was like, I have got to get up early, even if I don't like it, even if I don't wanna do it. So this is kind of like, you know, how to get up early when you don't wanna do it. Maybe I'll make another video on that as well. So yeah, I was not a morning person, did not wanna wake up early. In fact, when I did wake up, I didn't really, I would wake up, I'd get on my phone, I'd, you know, kinda, okay, I guess I'll drink some coffee, I'd get in the shower. I did not have a structure or a routine to my morning for a very, very long time. And so, for those of you that are like, oh, this sucks, I don't wanna do it. Listen, don't do it. If you don't wanna do it, I'm gonna tell you right now, don't do it. If you wanna change your life, if you wanna be the best you, if you wanna be proud of yourself, then stick around and I'm gonna give you my morning routine and hopefully it'll change your life. So what do my mornings look like? So I usually wake up um, between 5.30 and 6. Some mornings I'll get up at 5. Uh, if I'm really feeling extra that day, <laughs> We'll, we'll shoot for five. But most mornings, I'm up between 5.30 and 6 a.m. Sean has to be at the office at 8.30. 
So I'm usually up between 5.30 and 6 a.m. First thing I do, numero uno in the morning. Every, I feel like everybody tells you the same thing, but I think it's because every person that wakes up in the morning and has a morning routine realizes that you, you're not really gonna function well unless you do this first thing, and that is to drink some water. Yes, I sound like every other, you know, YouTuber, drink water, whatever, it works, okay? I And like, I used to just be like a straight to coffee. Like I am not, I need the nectar of heaven, I need coffee before I even talk to you, give me coffee. And I realized I didn't really feel, it didn't really make me feel awake right away. I don't know who said it, some actress or actor said that all of us are like plants in the morning and we need to be watered and so, Yes, sometimes I'll leave water right by my bed so when I wake up in the morning, I just reach over, grab my water, drink it up, and I'm good to go. And that, it wakes up my system. So yeah, first thing in the morning is a nice glass of water. I try most days to get some lemon in that water. Uh, sometimes I, and we have a lemon tree in the backyard, but I just don't sometimes wanna go out there at five in the morning to pick a lemon, so I'll just drink regular water, but I try to go and pick some lemons and have those ready to go in the morning for my water, but yeah, starting off the morning with some water, you can go look up all the health benefits of starting your day off with water, but you just, just do it, it works. So that's number one, what I do in the morning, is I drink some water. Then I move over to the coffee machine and I make myself a good cup of coffee because, you know, maybe you can function without, but I haven't reached that point in my life yet. Um, and it's more than just the caffeine, it's like comfort. It's like I sit with my coffee and it just makes me come alive, you know? So that's the next thing I do. So I drink my water, I get my coffee, and then I head back and I get back in bed. For those of you that have trouble like sitting up in bed and functioning, like you're gonna go back to sleep, don't. Don't go back to your bed, go sit on the couch or a, a neutral space where you're not gonna fall asleep in the morning. For me, I like to go sit back in my bed. I sit upright, I like to sit in my blankets and I have my coffee and I sit there and what I do is I sit in silence for about five to 10 minutes and I just, I try not to think about the things I've gotta do that day. Look, it's really hard. It's pretty much impossible to completely shut off your brain. I can't completely shut off my brain, but I really try not to think about what I have to do for the day. So I like to sit in silence. I like to take five, 10 minutes and I will think um, about the things I'm grateful for. I will try to just be in that moment. Like I said, not thinking through the things I've got to do that day, thinking about the things that I'm thankful for. Sometimes I'll use this time to just start praying. I, I like to wake up every morning and say thank you. You know, thank you Holy Spirit. Thank you God for this day. Thank you for the blessings in my life. I try to use this time to just really get centered on the things that I am grateful for that God has given me. And it could be little. It could be just the fact that I woke up that day. Uh, it could be big. I try to make that the time where I'm practicing some gratitude before I move into anything else for the day because it all it automatically puts me into a, a state of happiness, you know, because I'm grateful for the things that I have. So after sitting for about five to 10 minutes in some silence and letting myself just be grateful and wake up, then I read. I like to spend about, and this isn't my heavy duty reading uh, where I'm diving deep and I'm studying. And I No, I can't do that first thing in the morning. I like to use the good old, a proverb a day keeps the spirit of stupid away. So this is my time where I like to pull out a proverb. The best part is there's 31 chapters in Proverbs, so you have one for every day. So I really like to start my day with wisdom. I'm not trying to go deep in something or challenge my brain first thing in the morning. I just want to, I wanna get myself positioned for the day. So my whole goal in the morning is to position myself for the day. So I open up my Proverbs. I have the Passion Translation. We have the little books. We bought them off Amazon. And so I love it. I just open it. I have my little Proverbs book. Open it up. Pick my day. Go through. And, you know, I try to, to take my time going through it. Every verse in Proverbs is packed with wisdom and packed with life-changing stuff. Uh, but what I usually like to do is, because after I'm done reading, then I go to, to journaling. So what I do is I try to pick a proverb to meditate on for the day. And so next thing I do after I'm done reading is I get up in my journal and I start journaling. And this is the time where I, you know, maybe I'm writing some of the things that I was grateful for. First things first, I write down 
my proverb for the day, the little nugget I'm taking out of my proverbs because writing it down is just further enforcing that truth into my spirit, into my soul. So I write it down and I don't just write down a proverb for the day. I also like to write down a quote for that day. So I do not suggest, in fact, every person that you will hear about morning routines will tell you the same thing. Do not, do not go on your phone. First thing when you wake up in the morning, do not grab your phone. Do not look at it. Do not go on that Instagram. Do not go on that Facebook. Do not go on that Twitter. Do not go on whatever thing, your emails, text messages. Don't, just don't go there. Your brain does not need that first thing in the morning. I used to do that and then it was just like three hours would go by and I would be a zombie and I'd have the hardest day really staying focused. So if you wanna stay focused for the day, do not go on social media for at least the first 30 minutes of the day, don't touch your phone. Um, so what I do, and I've trained myself, I don't, I don't go on social media, but what I'll do is I go straight to my internet on my phone and I type in success quotes. I type in maybe a favorite author, I love Jim Rohn, I'll type in Jim Rohn quotes. And I, so I try to get a proverb for the day and a quote for the day, like a success quote for the day to help uh, kickstart my morning. And so I write those down in my journal. And then what I do is I just really empty my brain. I know some people talk about morning pages. I haven't really looked into what morning pages is, but I, I guess I kind of do a little bit of that. I just, but I don't write for three, four pages. For me, it's like, I try to get one full page done. And if I can get a full page done, I'm good. And it's just a brain dump for me. It's maybe what I'm grateful for that day. Maybe it's something that I just need to get out of my head. I just write. I don't really think a lot about what I'm writing. I just write. I write how I'm feeling. I write uh, what I'm looking forward to. I just write. I write for about five, 10 minutes and I'm done. Done writing. Close the book. Uh, and I don't just journal in the morning. I'll journal other things throughout the day, but I really try not to use this time in the morning as a time to really go deep. And it just, for me, it's about filling up me. It's about filling up myself. It's about taking care of myself. It's about mental, physical, and you know, spiritual health. And that's what my mornings are. So I've drank water. I'm sitting with my coffee. I've read Proverbs, so I'm not stupid. I <laughs> have journaled, I've written down my prayers, whatever those things are that I'm, I'm focusing on for that day, or I usually try to write a prayer, something I'm, I'm asking God for. So I get that down in my journal, and then it's time for a little run. So Sean and I will get up, we put on our exercise clothes, we get outside, and we do a, we do a lot, because we live by a school, so we'll go run around the school, and we try to get a little 10 minute run in, just to get the system going. It's so good, it's refreshing, the cold air, on my face. I just notice when I come in, it's like my face will just look so, so good. That's another thing that I do in the morning. I will wash my face with cold water before I go and grab a glass of water. Sometimes it's after I grab a glass of water, but I try first thing in the morning to wash my face with some cold water. It's so good for your skin, reduces uh, inflammation and all that puffiness. I've been wanting to get one of those rollers to like roll out all of the, you know, the swole, that swole, bad swole in the morning. It's not like, Muscle soul. Anyways, so yeah, I do like to wash my face with some cold water. But then Sean and I, we get out, we go for a run, and it just gets our system going, gets us good. Then after a run, I come home, and some of you guys are like, oh my gosh, this is exhausting. It's really not. It is the best way to start your day. I promise you that. So when we get back from a run, that is typically when I will make us some juice. So Sean did give me a juicer. For those of you that saw my Trader Joe's haul, I was asking for a juicer for my birthday instead of Yeezys. I know some of you are like, Simone, that's nuts. Why? What? He, he's still gonna buy me Yeezys one day. I, he's a great husband, you know? But this time around, I needed a juicer. So we got a juicer. I've been juicing every morning. Oh, holy guacamole. I am going to, I'm gonna do a whole juicing vlog for you guys, because it is changing my life. Juicing is like, I, I just can't. Anyways, juicing is totally transforming my world right now, my health. Oh my goodness, so many benefits. I'll go into that another day. But uh, right now we've been juicing. And so for Sean, because he has blood sugar issues, he can't have a ton of fruit. His sugars get worse with inflammation. So what we've been doing, what I've been making him in the morning is just a straight up cup, <laughs> poor guy, of celery juice. And we've been seeing a huge difference with his blood sugars, actually. So for those of you with diabetes, uh, straight up celery juice in the morning 
it works. So um, he has a glass of celery juice. I have a glass of carrot. I do a little blend of carrot, pear, ginger, and lemon. And oh, it's so good for my tummy. It's just like, oh, it's so happy. You know, it just, just gets so happy. So yeah, that's what I make in the morning. And carrots have, I mean, you can go and look up all of the vitamins and phytonutrients and all that stuff that are in those vegetables. I'll list them out in a juicing vlog for you. And again, what the benefits are, because I am seeing a huge difference and I can tell that it is definitely detoxifying my body, flushing out my liver, just, oh, I love health. It just makes me so happy. So we juice in the morning and that's where the rest of my morning starts. We have our own time in the morning separate. And then we also have time together where, like I said, we go for a run. We usually sit in the bed and do our journaling at the same time, but we just don't really talk to each other. I give him his space and you wouldn't know, but Sean is actually more of an introvert. So, you know, talking to him first thing in the morning. So I give him his, I get mine, we'll go to the gym, and that is a whole nother video. I will give you guys my, my workout split, workout routine in another video, but I go to the gym, I try to get my workout in in the morning, then I come home, I shower, and then I'm off for the day. So that's pretty much my morning routine. I didn't go super in depth and a whole lot for you. That's the basics. Getting myself some water in the morning, making sure that I am getting some wisdom in. I, I know stupid fool. Mom and raise no fool. Oh, another thing I do in the morning, did not give you guys this, are affirmations. I believe in affirmations. I believe that you believe your own voice more than anybody else's voice. Studies have shown that. So what I've done is I've written out affirmations. I am loved. I am beautiful. I am successful. I am confident. All of those, those things that I am believing about myself, I write them down and I speak them over myself. I believe in the power of your words. I believe that your words affect you more than anything else because what goes out of our mouth comes back in and then we believe it. We believe these things that we say about ourselves. So, but yes, yeah, so affirmations, I do those as well. Sometimes I'll do them while I'm running. Sometimes I do them when I get back, I'll do them in the shower. I, I, I find time to do them and it's not just I'm not just speaking mindless words where I'm like, oh yeah, I'm confident, oh yeah, I'm beautiful. Oh. And I'm thinking about all the million things I gotta do for the day. I really try to think and consciously connect with the words that I am speaking. I try to put emotion into the words that I'm speaking. I try to imagine what that feels like. When I say I am confident, what does that feel like? By the way, that is my 2019 word is confident. I am gonna be confident this year, more confident than I've ever been. And so, yeah, I try to connect my mind with the words that I'm speaking because it enforces, it becomes a, it becomes a truth. What else? What else can I tell you? So much in this video. Whew. And then when I go to the gym, I usually will sit in the sauna at the end of my workout, which just further helps me get all the bad stuff out of my system. It refreshes me, gets me focused for the day. And I feel like a thousand times better when I sit in the sauna. So if your gym has a sauna, definitely jump on that because it really does help. So yeah, then after I get back from, you know, run into the gym and whatnot, I get ready. And I really like to use my drive time as a time to grow spiritually, to grow mentally. I'm trying really not to listen to the radio while I'm driving anymore. I'm putting on a YouTube video, um, you know, of somebody that I consider a mentor. I'm listening to stuff that's gonna grow me internally. I've got audio books. I really suggest doing that. It's a great way to maximize your drive time and grow because most people are like I don't have the time I don't have the time that is the lamest excuse in the world we all have time it's a matter of making time it's a matter of setting apart time to do the things that you need to do it's just it's it's scheduling it out and then it's just following through with it so I try to utilize every little bit of time I have and put that towards something that I need to do so drive time I'm listening to either a sermon or a leadership a podcast or something that's gonna help me grow, help me become better. That's kind of a little bit of my routine for the day. There's a lot more I could give you guys in all of that. You know, other basics, brush your teeth, comb your hair, get ready. So my morning routine really like has become my anchor and my foundation. That system has helped me 
really get focused in this new year and I'm loving it. Like I love getting up in the morning and I love my morning routine. And I also believe that you should not just have a morning routine, but you should have an evening routine as well, which I will give you in another video, my evening routine. But that's my morning routine. Water, reading, writing, exercise, washing my face, affirmations, taking care of myself. That's my morning. So that's it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope it inspired you to get up early in the morning and make the most of your time. Do the best with what you have. If you have any questions uh, or you have any tips for other things to do in the morning, please leave them in the comment section below. If you did like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and never forget to subscribe so you never miss a video from Simone again. So we've got more coming y'all's way. And yeah, I love you guys. Thank you so much.